I wanted to talk a little bit today about workhorse cameras. One of the things I really enjoy is gear. I have gear acquisition syndrome, self-proclaimed addict. And I want to talk about this camera. This is the Lumix GH5. I have three of these. And what a workhorse. I mean, just fantastic. I get a lot of flack for having bad autofocus, but this camera was created in an era that it was not uncommon. Uh, 2017, 15, 14, 16, somewhere in there. I don't remember. I bought my first one in 2017, and in the day, this was unbelievable camera for what it could do. 4K60 in 8-bit color in 2016, 17 time frame was unheard of. It's a micro four thirds sensor, so it's not going to do great in low light. That's fine. Everybody knows these things probably. But what I want to talk about is what they're really good at and what I use them for. I have three of them, as I say, and um, I use them for ceremony cameras now, mostly, and interview cameras and things like that. I usually run 422 10-bit in 4K24 or 4K30, depending on what we're doing. That gives me 10-bit color. Um, they're super affordable. They're ridiculously reliable. You can sit this in the middle of direct sunshine in tropical climate, and it will run until the batteries run out or you run out of storage space. No problems, period. Rain, sleet, snow, heat, nothing affects these cameras. They're solid, and that's why... Lumix has kept them around for so many years and sold so many of them is because bang for the buck, they do a great job. They just are not the camera for you to use if you need autofocus. So for doing a vlog like this, they're not great if you're moving around. I set these on the corners, pointed at the couple, bride, groom, and then one in the back in the center. I have three. I do 70 to 200 equivalents on each side and then a wide shot on the back with a 24 to 70 equivalent. I run uh, usually 4K24 on those and 4 to 10 bit. And with one battery, you can run for two hours. If you get the battery grip extensions, which you can buy cheap uh, knockoff versions of, you can put another battery in that and you can get up to four hours worth of recording time until you run out of SD card space. It uses two dual slot. It's dual slot it has two SD cards that are affordable great media and you can dual record to those slots yeah it's a great camera it just doesn't have great autofocus and so the way we use it is we set them on tripods and set them up before a ceremony and hit the record button and they just run and that's what i want them for i want reliability at a wedding we can't afford to not have something that works and they work if you are using them for other things outside of that you can do back button back button manual focus if you're familiar with that works really well so what it is is it's one quick pulse of the focus like the auto focus and then it's locked there manually it's a great way to do it you're framing a shot of a bride getting dressed you hit the button one time boom it focuses and then it's manual from that point it's very easy then you don't have to sit here and twist the dial and think about it when it comes to that Single button, single pulse style focus, it's phenomenal. It does good. It's quick. It's accurate. It just doesn't do well with continuous. So anyway, this is a workhorse, the workhorse, the workhorse of the industry, at least the wedding industry, I think. If you don't have one, maybe you should. They're affordable. They're so affordable. The lenses are small and light. And so, yeah, I love the camera for that. It's great for that use. It's not for everybody. Doesn't have a like sexy log profile. You can get Vlog L, which is a light version of Vlog. It's not super great. I just shoot it on a natural profile and kind of tune the settings down just a little bit to give me a little less contrast and a little more room. But it's they do great. You can color grade them well. That 422 10-bit codec is really good that they have. So you can push it around in post or whatever. Anyway, cams. Hey man, thanks for inspiring me maybe you don't feel like you inspire me but you do 
just your con your consistency over the last few weeks has made me really think about doing these kind of things more. That's why I created this channel. It really wasn't created to be gear review all the time. I created it to just have conversations about gear and tech and things we're doing. So that's why I kind of enjoy it. Anyway, if you're following along, appreciate you subscribing. Uh, appreciate you using any of the links in the descriptions, Amazon affiliate, things like that. It helps pay for stuff and sponsor the channel a little bit. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.